Item number SCP-6490, Object Class Cater. Special Containment Procedures. There is currently no known means of physically containing SCP-6490. Due to the highly public nature of the anomaly, Mobile Task Force Mu-23, quoth the Raven, has been tasked with intercepting all sightings of SCP-6490 and administering Class A amnestics to witnesses as needed. Agents are to monitor the subject's activities, with all findings submitted in writing to Project Director Lyle Blanchard. Under no circumstances should agents attempt to engage with SCP-6490. Description SCP-6490 is a tangible monochromatic humanoid, visually indistinguishable from American author Edgar Allan Poe, as he appeared in 1849. Every January 19th, between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, SCP-6490 will manifest in one of several urban areas located in the eastern United States. SCP-6490 typically appears in the vicinity of bars, taverns, and alleyways, although has also been sighted near libraries and college campuses. In all documented occurrences, SCP-6490 appeared to be heavily intoxicated. Witnesses have described SCP-6490's appearance as disheveled, with unkempt hair and dressed in stained, ill-fitting clothes, similar to those worn by Poe at his time of death. Reportedly, SCP-6490 possesses a strong odor, usually likened to a combination of whiskey and urine. SCP-6490 has not demonstrated the ability to alter its appearance at will and is incapable of phasing through solid barriers. For these reasons, SCP-6490 is not considered to be a true spectral entity under any categorization system currently in use. SCP-6490 shows strong antisocial tendencies and is generally aggressive towards humans and animals. Since classification, the subject's pattern of behavior has remained largely consistent and has frequently been cited engaging in the following activities. Loud, slurred recitation of misquoted verses of poetry and prose, all pre-20th century, mostly originating from Poe's body of literature. Defacement of public property and infrastructure, scavenging streets and waste containers in search of discarded food and liquor bottles, kicking, throwing of cats, dogs, and other small animals, taunting and denigration of passing civilians, this has occasionally resulted in physical altercations, although due to its inebriated state, SCP-6490 is easily subdued. SCP-6490 manifestation events usually last for a period of between 30 to 60 minutes. In all cases, the subject was seen collapsing to the ground in an apparent state of unconsciousness before abruptly vanishing. Addendum, SCP-6490 was first discovered in 1949 outside Gunners Hall in the city of Baltimore, Maryland. The subject continued to appear annually across several states for over 15 years, until January of 1967, where no new sightings were reported. Mobile Task Force Mu-23, quoth the Raven, which had been dispatched in anticipation of SCP-6490's next appearance, was tasked with investigating potential causes for this change in circumstance. On January 20th, a short news article was published in the Baltimore Tribunal, detailing an anonymous figure sighted at Westminster Hall shortly after midnight the previous day. This individual was seen visiting the cenotaph marking Poe's original gravesite, where they placed three roses before pouring and raising a glass of cognac. After a follow-up investigation, this visitor was identified as 23-year-old Augustus Reynolds, a local university student and self-described Poe enthusiast. When questioned, Reynolds showed no knowledge of SCP-6490, stating that he left flowers and raised a toast to Poe's memory out of respect for his literary accomplishments. Notably, Reynolds spoke at length about what he described as the author's posthumous character assassination by critic and associate Rufus W. Griswold, who characterized the late writer as a misanthropic alcoholic and drug addict. Reynolds was subsequently administered Class A amnestics, and these findings were forwarded to Project Director Lyle Blanchard. On January 19th the following year, Reynolds's ritual was replicated by Agent Jacob Fletcher, and as expected, SCP-6490 once again failed to appear. SCP-6490's containment procedures are currently being amended to reflect these developments. In the interest of security, performance of this ritual is expected to continue annually for the foreseeable future.